Ever since 2017, I've been covering the mainstream comic book industry and the way that they are violent, threatening, angry, hateful towards anybody who has a different political opinion than their little establishment group. This started in 2017, as I mentioned, when I talked about diversity in comics, now known as Comics Matter with your boy Zach. And he was going into New York Comic Con, a, a very same convention we're about to talk about here. When he did that, these pros went into this Facebook group and actually talked about how they were fantasizing about assaulting him. Uh, they wanted to goad him into throwing a punch, trigger his PTSD as a veteran, try to get him kicked out of New York Comic Con based on their own violent fantasies. It was very bizarre. People got called out for that, and it formed the movement that was Comicsgate. Well, now, Comicsgate's under attack in the much the same way. Last week, Marvel artist, cover artist for the X-Men and other books, Mark Brooks, went on a live stream, and he actually yelled at Ethan Van Skyver and told him to fight him at New York Comic Con. He told him that he wanted him to come and see him, and he made it sound very violent, very agitated, and he implied that Ethan was... Uh, some kind of coward if you wouldn't go physically confront Mark like that. Now, sane people don't go physically confront people when they have different ideas on the internet. Sane people and sane fathers and, and workers like Ethan don't go do that. And of course, Ethan just laughed it off at the time. But it is a really crazy, violent rhetoric from Mark Brooks. It, it does exemplify exactly what's going on in the minds of these people in the mainstream industry. They hate us. They want us dead. They want us beat to a bloody pulp at a convention. It's really, really creepy stuff. I've dealt with this. I got death threats last week over a video I made. I didn't talk about it. I just put, you know, it just came in a DM, and that was it. But these happen all the time, and it's all because of who we are. It's all because we're conservative. It's all because we're Christian. It's all because we advocate for something different than the lousy books that they make at these companies at this point. And so there's a new rumor that's coming out about Mark Brooks, which we're going to get to right now, and we're going to talk about it. There's a pretty long preamble for once, but really odd stuff. And this is what's coming down the pipeline. I figured this was going to happen. This is a rumor that's happening right now. I don't have further confirmation of this, but the source is one that's close with Mark Brooks. So I am inclined to believe it. And we'll talk about it in just a second. My name is John Delarose. If you're new here, I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. This is my science fiction universe. I'm building a nice baby of a universe right here, which is going to be really awesome as it comes about and comes into fruition. You're not going to be able to believe it once you get a couple years into this because we're going to have awesome, awesome things. This is Overmind, and right now this is the beginning. It's a, a secret agent who's going and fighting an AI who's trying to brainwash people, and it's a lot of fun good action-packed science fiction, 66 pages of awesome graphic novel. And with it, I've actually got a novel. It's called The Immortal Edge. Yeah, that's right. I write prose novels too. And the two actually form kind of a symbiotic pair of different stories starring these same characters to really expand and flesh out this world. You're really going to love it. If you want something that's a competitor to the woke entertainment out there, check it out. This link is in the description below. I appreciate everybody who's been supporting so far. So here's the report. This comes from uh, Illegal Alien Comics 666XXX. Uh, I was told that Mark Brooks, cover artist for Marvel Comics, got a talking to by Marvel lawyers to stop engaging with Comicsgate, the hashtag, or he will be fired from Marvel. After his violent threats uh, last week, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, this came uh, from the way he behaved on that stream with Ethan Van Skyver and Well Read. Interesting stuff. Yeah, and uh, I think there was a corporate directive a couple years ago for these pros to stop acting out and lashing out like this. It, we really saw a big nosedive in that kind of behavior happening. We saw crazy stuff coming out of those pros. Like I already mentioned, the deal with diversity in comics and the threats to him. Uh, there was the guy who posted a picture of his own asshole on Twitter uh, to actually go at Comicsgate people. Robbie Rodriguez, another Marvel artist. And it got way out of hand. It looks really bad for the company for them to be harassing indie creators like this because we're trying to make our own books and trying to do our own thing as a competitor. Uh, you know, that's a big egg on its face for Disney Marvel, which is at the end of the day, a family entertainment company, even though they're trying to not be that uh, as they try to appeal to this woke culture. But Mark Brooks now has really gone off the rails. He went too far. I think he was drunk. I don't know, but he sounded a little slurry when he was talking. And he does this. He attacks people. He's attacked me before. He's gone at me and freaked out, called me homophobe and anti-Semitic, all this kinds of stuff. And uh, I think it's getting to be too much for Marvel, especially when people are asking for fights at conventions. Nobody should want that. Nobody should uh, have anything other than just cordial 
talk uh, once we're offline and just hanging out. We should be able to just, as comic professionals, come together, enjoy ourselves. We should be able to go to New York Comic Con without any sort of problem or incident from these people. Uh, and that's it. I mean, we've never threatened anybody like this. We never would because we're peaceful, good people. And uh, I hope Mark Brooks gets the help he needs at the end of the day. What he's got going right now is obviously not working for him, and a change needs to happen. All right. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. I appreciate you guys being there. Hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to back Overmind. Available now. And hit that like and subscribe button again. See you.